Hey everyone, welcome to Meeple Bits. Thanks for joining me today. In today's episode of Tabletop Simulator, we're going to go through the game Sushi Go Party. This is a community created mod, so it is available in the Steam Workshops. Links available in the description below. This one titled Sushi Go Party Scripted by user The Cupcakes. As always in the Tabletop Simulator series, we're not going to tackle um, extensive how to play or go into details on the rules um, specifically. So please refer to the rule book or a how to play video for those items. We are going to take a look at what's scripted and what you, the users, are going to have to manage, maintain, and control on your own. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Hey everyone, welcome to Sushi Go Party on Tabletop Simulator. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the different components and then show you guys how to use this version of, um, of the Sushi Go Party on Tabletop Sim. Uh, so to begin, go ahead and grab a seat anywhere around the table, choosing the color that you'd like to play. One quick caveat uh, that I've noticed about playing around with this one is that the player in the white location will have to uh, control everything on the right side of the table. So let's look at those components. You've got your victory track and the main area for setting up the menu. You've got your different cards uh, that are default, and then you've got your tokens. So once you've chosen what color you want, go ahead and grab your token and set it up um, starting on the zero track. Uh, can I get it there? There we go. Then the player sitting at the, uh, the white player's location, they're going to need to then control everything else on the right side of the table which are the different uh, types of cards that are going to be used in play. You'll notice down here, uh, the choose the tile, clean up the round, clean up the game, pass the hands, etc. So what does that look like, guys? Well, first, we're going to need to choose our menu tiles. Selecting this does not choose, um, per the instruction book, um, any default menus or any of the suggested ones or any of the um, easy to play ones, right? And there is no uh, instruction or rule book available on this one. So you'll have to pull it up online if you wanted to use anything specific. And if you do, you'll have to pull out all these tiles from the, uh, their bags and set them up purposefully. Otherwise, when you select choose tiles over here on the right hand side, what this is going to do is it's going to randomly select the menu for you. Like so. So once the menu has been selected, you're ready to begin the next stage, which is make your deck. So once you've got the menu, select make deck next. It's going to grab the different cards that you need for the menu, and then you're going to add your desserts. Good to go. Now, once that's complete, we are ready to shuffle and deal the cards, selecting now this third button. There we go. Now I and my table mates both have our hands. So on our turn, we're each gonna pull out and kind of declare uh, one card to use. Once all players have selected the card that they want, they're going to reveal them in their play area. Now, it's gonna get pretty um, hectic out here in the play area, especially on this small table with a lot of players. So with that in mind, you may want to use your plus or minus to change the scale um, of the cards just to suit your needs a little bit better. Once you've uh, declared your cards and revealed them, go ahead and come over here, select rotate hands. Now it's going to swap the hands around the table like it should. Go ahead and grab your next card, put it into the play area, and then once all players have set their cards down, give it a quick reveal, and then over to the right side of the table, select again, rotate hands. You're going to continue this until all cards have been dealt out and you're ready to uh, clean up. So let me just go ahead and, um, you know, put some cards out here into the play area until um, I've got the one card remaining, which would then be my discard, right? All right, there we go. And then once that's done, you're going to hit clean up round. What that's going to do is it's going to clean up all the cards from the table, leaving behind um, anything that was necessary. Next, you're going to hit the round marker and shuffle and deal again. So 
You'll notice that a little bit of buggy there because I, I didn't have the cards all neatly placed out. But don't worry, guys. In, in the real setting, you'll do it a little bit better. But once you've got that taken care of, you're ready to then move on. And then once you've completed the game, um, you will then clean up game, right? And it'll take everything back and set it up to its default state. And then you're ready to begin a new game uh, once you've completed all your scoring. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. If you have any questions about this particular version of Sushi Go Party, please leave a comment in the description down below. Uh, if you've enjoyed the content, I appreciate the support. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching.